this, so you're gonna watch the video when you're gonna subscribe. I have gathered you all here today so that you can do things like this to your Feroid characters, eyeballs, or skin, or what have you, whatever else you might like to add some neat techy glow to. There are plenty of videos out there just like this, but um, I thought since I'd be uploading these eyes to boot, I would let you know how to spruce them up a little along with posts. So, if you're here from Boo, hi, this is my channel, please subscribe. I'm doing this for free. I'll wait. <laughs> First, if you check the description box below this video, you'll find all the links for Feroid Studio, Unity, my particular version being 2018.4.2, Uni VRM, and the Circuit Board Tech Eyes Pack by yours truly. Open up Vroid Studio and choose your model or create a new one. If you're creating a new model, here is where you can add the texture to the eyes. Or just import directly over. Or, I think in this case, I'm just going to leave it like this. Let's assume we already have a VRM you'd like to add these things to, and you might already know. You cannot re-import VRMs back into Vroid Studio, so general editor. We're going to turn off this and the other side. Export. We'll call her. Save it somewhere. I'm just gonna save it to the desktop. Oh, there she is. I'm gonna open up Unity. I'm gonna make a new project, 3D of Clovers. I'm just gonna call it GT Test. Give it some time to load. It's gonna look something like this. And into this, order is important. We are going to drop in our Uni VRM. You may have a different version, and I believe it's a okay. We're going to import all of it. Again, this is going to take a second. Right, so just for the sake of organization, we will create a new folder. I'm going to call it Avatar. And into this folder, we will plop our happy little Ava. Again, we will let it load. And there she is. We'll click on our avatar, open prefab to get a nice look at her. So, from here, and maybe you already put the texture in Vroid Studio, and that's fine, but maybe you already had a VRM and you need to do it here. Assuming you don't already know how to do that, we we'll open up our avatars folder, and in here we'll find the materials. Uh, she's got quite a few because I got fancy and <laughs> not much chaos. Not very fancy. Anyway, we want to find the square or eye white. We're going to change the lip color texture in here. So we can add it. We don't have it down in here. While we're at it, we'll throw them all in. We'll have the square eye type. The initial layout. And our inverted eye. Just for habit's sake. We are having the wrap mode set to clamp. On each of these, I don't think that's necessary because they are the right size. I just like to remember that it's something I need to do before I use Git. Okay. And the materials. We're going to put this one there, so click on your eye white. Again, texture, 
We will click on the file. Don't click on the texture. Then we will click and drag. And there it is. Don't know if you can see. I believe it's there. I see something going on. Her eyes are kind of huge. But we can change that too. By going back to the material. Clicking on the eyes. Texture. We will drag the texture up and down like this. Now, to add the glow and... Hmm, if you wanted to, you could even use these eyes, but I think this is a, a bit more interesting. Visually appealing, especially with the green in the background. Um, what we're going to want to do is go back to the materials folder. We will do the eyes first. Scroll down and we will find emission. Here is where we want to drag our emission map. In this case, for the eyes, it's going to be our tech eyes emission map included. And then we're going to want to choose the color. I think I set it around here. Very intense. And the intensity here. Very saturated. The intensity we will set to 4. I can't remember if it was 3, 4. In this tutorial, we'll set it to 4. And close it. Next, we go back to the materials. Click on square. Textures. Here at the emission, we will drag once again the square. As the emission map. And we will give it the color green. Bright green. <laughs> With an intensity of 4. 6 looks nice too, but sometimes the glow is a little too intense. Depending on where you want it and how small your details are. So I like 4 for this. But you can play around with the numbers and see what you get. Alright, so... It looks kind of funny here, but when we pull her out by clicking on her opening preset, choosing the arm, export in the arm, you won't be able to do it until you have a title and version. Export. Name her something, maybe a little different. Can close it now. We'll open. Our tracker, I'm using the magic mirror, I sure hope you put the link down. If this is your first time using the magic mirror, you may need to change the language. Or your first instinct may be to click on the gear to change the language, but it is down here. May recognize the Omanji, and you should be good to go. Load file. And there she is. Here I am with my glow. I hope you like this tutorial. I had fun making it. I'll uh, enjoy the new skill you have there, I think, in my next video. Although you can definitely find really good videos uh, by Suvidro. She's the one I learned almost everything from. And Fulfillment and Sapphire. I sure should put their links down below as well. Um, I forgot what I was going to say. <laughs> Um, that's all for me for now. Next video, I would like to cover, uh, Suvi's got a really good one already. Uh, you can go digging in her stuff to find it if you need it sooner. Um, how to toggle it on and off. Yes, okay, so, bye. <laughs> what do you get? It's daunting at first, but once you get it, it's actually super easy, and there's some way cool stuff you can. If you go on to, I'll show you more. I got, I got more ideas to share with you. Creativity.